guys, Jordan here from CineCam.net and welcome back to Copycat Friday, the weekly series in which we try to recreate visual effects from famous movies and music videos. And today I am or I look like Oliver Tree, or, or I try to be at least, because we're going to recreate three effects from his music videos and show you guys how it's done and we are going to use his music as well in this video and that is all possible because of Licked. Big thanks to them for sponsoring this video as well. So without further ado, let's get rolling because I got a scooter. Look at me go! Yeah! Now before we can start with any of the effects, we first need some extra props, which we are going to get in the store and the thrift shop. So let's go! I think we should have brought a guard. Pretty sure. The first effect comes from Oliver Tree's music video Turn It Up, which was in collaboration with Little Big and Tommy Cash. Now, in that music video, we can see kind of this one effect throughout the entire video, and that is where the camera is kind of locked onto the talents as they kind of like jump around like this on the beat. Now, the only thing you have to do is shoot from a tripod, that is going to be important, and then just jump to the beat to your favorite song, which can also be the song from Oliver Tree. And I'll show you in a moment how you can do that without getting a copyright strike. Now, to make the effect more fun, and just shoot in multiple locations and edit them all together so you get a nice edit. What do you think of my socks, Timo? They are very cool. It's the most loose pants I ever wore. It looks comfy though. What do you think of my outfit? In, a, in the weekends, I do some extra work. It's a bit of a sketchy company, but you know, whatever pays the bills. Here we go again. The amount of undressing shots we have on Cinecom is way too much. I hope it fits. 200 bucks for this crap. Turn it up. of the effect guys being in sync with each other turn it up so once we are in after effects the actual effect is quite easy of course we place our shot in a new composition and now we looked for the tracker panel on the right side of after effects here we're not going to track our shot, we're going to stabilize it. So we clicked on the stabilize motion button. This will give you the option to stabilize the current clip for the position, rotation and scale. However, we only need to position, so don't enable anything else. Then we placed our tracker marker on our talent we wanted to use as the stabilize reference. We used something recognizable like the nostrils for example. Then we just hit the track forward button, let After Effects do its thing. And once done, we can hit apply. Now very important, for the apply dimensions we want the Y over only option, making our clip only move up and down. Press OK and voila, we're done. Of course we have to scale our clip a little to remove any black borders, but that's it for the effect. All right, what is happening, guys? We are using popular music here on YouTube. Normally, if you would do that, you would get demonetized or get a copyright strike. And if you do decide to get a license, you're gonna have to smack a lot of money on the table. Well, we didn't pay a lot of money, just a very small fee, and that is possible because of Licked today's sponsor. On Licked, you can search over 600,000 popular songs and new songs are being added every day. And the cool thing is that you only need to pay a small fee to stay copyright claim free. Now the great thing is that you're going to save time in the edits because you probably have some kind of a popular song in your mind. Well, you can just search for that on Licked and you have it with a click of a button. Plus your audience is gonna love it as well because they know the song as well. Now, their mission is to sign up all the big record labels so you can find everything in one place. And the more creators that start to use Licked, 
the bigger and the better it becomes. So go try that yourself, guys. You can get 50% off your first track. So go ahead and click that first link in the description down below to start exploring all the popular music on Licked. Now, what do you need to do for this shot? Well, shoot from a tripod in an angle downwards towards a green screen with your actor in front of it. I'm Oliver Tree. More like an Oliver Branch. Then let your actor just do its thing, maybe act, maybe sing, and take a second shot of your actor and let him do something different so we can do a zoom in towards him in the effect. Life goes on and 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 on. on. Personally, I find this infinite cloning effect not that good. Every clone has the same perspective, and in the back you can see that something is doing something weird. Now, we actually did a similar cloning effect a while back, where we took the perspective of every clone into account, making it look better, but we didn't have that many clones. So, let's do this effect again with an infinite amount of clones. To start, we place our clip into a sequence. But this sequence is not a normal sequence. We are using a very wide one, so we can place multiple clones next to each other. Now, of course, we keyed out the green and created a mask around our talent, leaving us with nothing but the talent. Next step, duplicate our clip a bunch of times and place them next to each other. Do not scale them as we want them at full size, but you can randomize the position if you want, leaving more space between some clones than the other. Also, make sure that the left of the row can overlap with the right side. This way you can endlessly loop the rows. Then our row of clones is done. We have two options now to proceed. We can pre-compose our clones, but because we are going to use so many clones, our project is going to get super heavy when using the pre-composed sequences. So option number two, render it all out with an alpha layer. This way we can import this clip back into After Effects and place it into a normal 4K sequence. Now it's just a matter of stacking our clips until we have millions of clones. One last detail, just like Oliver, we place a single different clone right in the middle of everything. And when every clone is standing on the right spot, we just pre-compose everything and then add a simple scaling animation to zoom in on that different clone. And don't forget to enable the continuously rasterize button, finishing the effect. is way smaller than I thought it would be. And it's pink and it says love, so it's, it's perfect. <laughs> Did I hit someone? Oh snap. The shots you need for this effect are actually quite easy. For the first one, we'll just shoot on a tripod and we'll let our actor come towards the camera. <laughs> then for the second shot, we'll just place our dummy outside of the frame and when the car drives past the camera, we just pan with the car, revealing the dummy on the ground. Like you all that. First thing, place your talent shot into a new sequence. Now, let's look for the point where our talent gets hit and on this point we're going to make a cut. Next up, let's bring in our second shot of the car. For this shot, we're also going to look for the point where the car is supposed to impact our talent and make a cut. We can now sync the two shots and this means matching the cuts we just made. We can also place our clips in the right order. On the bottom, our talent clip, then on top, the car. After the cut, the first clip is again the car and on top, the talent clip. And this order is really important because we're going to rotoscope stuff out so the bottom layer will be visible. So first we're going to single out the car in the clip left of the cut. Take your rotoscope tool and rotoscope the car. Now because your car is going to have a lot of motion blur your rotoscope will probably be more difficult. So where needed help out After Effects and when done enable the motion blur option for the rotoscope effect. This will feather your edge and make the motion blur parts look better and realistic. Okay once your car is singled out let's do the same with the talent. So take the talent clip right from the cut and first let's make 
make it shorter. We only need a couple of frames from this clip. With the short clip still selected, take the rotoscope tool and completely cut out the talent. Now we just have to animate the position of our cutout talent and maybe rotate him towards the end, making him feel like he is pulled under the car. Last, we're going to duplicate our car shot in the end and place it back above our talent who just got hit. We're going to rotoscope the nose of the car, placing our talent behind the car, creating some realistic depth. Now add some motion blur to it all and bada bim bada boom, we are done. And that's how you can make your own Oliver Tree music video, guys. Big thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And also, thank you so much, Licked, for the support. You can find the link in the description down below to start downloading as well. And if you want to see how to blow your head off, just like an Oliver Tree's music video, yes, we also did a video about that. You can check it out here on the left side or subscribe to the channel to see us every single week. And as always, stay creative.